Some time ago, one of my Nikon F3s got jammed. It was not possible to advance the film and also the shutter would not fire, neither the electronic button or the manual release. I tried to search for a solution online, but even though I found that people, some people had had the same problem, I could not find any solution. So I decided to compare it to my unstuck or not, not jammed Nikon F3 to see if I could find the problem possibly. Now, these cameras are not so easy to open up on the top. I mean, at least if you don't know what you're doing, but the underside of the camera can be opened quite easily. So I went for that and actually managed to find the solution by, by comparing these two cameras and, and see what they did mechanically on that part. So first of all, we need to remove the covers for the motor drive and for the battery. I already had this one off because I use it on a motor drive. And there are some screws we need to open. There are two here and then for the motor drive connection and one more in here. This part should come out as well. Okay, it will come out, we'll take the, the plate off. Like so. Under the plate here is this uh, wedge sealing rubber. And once you have it off, put this motor drive connection screw back. Because I've heard that some parts can uh, come off. There's like a spring which can come off if you don't put it back. Right, so now when you have the plate off, you can see what the camera does under the hood, so to speak. Start by advancing the film. Obviously it's not <laughs> stuck anymore. So when we advance it, there are several things that are happening. One thing to pay attention to is this area here. When we advance, there's a small part that appears there. That way you can know whether the camera has been wound up or not, so then it moves to here. And when I first opened this, it was in this position, but this uh, thing here, whatever it is called, had not moved completely, so the action was not finished, so this lock on this lever had gone on, but the camera was not fully wound up, so you could neither fire nor advance the camera. So what I did to get the camera unstuck was to take a screwdriver, and push on this part so the camera went to like the fully wound up mode. That's also. So now when the shutter is fired, there is a bit of resistance on this. So now I don't really dare I'm putting any pressure on it. But when we advance, see it moves. And if it's like a little bit loose like this, it can be possible to push it like fully, fully in the last part. After I did this, the camera actually got stuck again after a few advances, but uh, yeah, I just did the same thing again. And now I've been able to advance it quite a few times without getting stuck again. So yeah, I don't know if the problem is solved permanently. I think this camera is also in need of some CLA. I don't know if usually you can tell by this. Actually it is, yeah. It might need some fixing. Now, I don't know if I dare put a film into this camera and use it. If it gets stuck when I have a film in, it's a bit more of a problem. I don't think any light will leak, but it's a bit of a hassle to open up the camera with film inside of it. So, I don't know. Well, we can always try and see if it gets stuck. It seems to be fine. Right, so I think this was all for this video. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask. And well, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye. And yeah, and I will put this uh, thing back together again. Yeah.